What's up guys, I'm Prone to Ride and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am a professional disabled athlete. I was born with cerebral palsy. I've been living with it for all of my life. I've competed in multiple sports. I have a master's degree in kinesiology. This series is to help give you guys a more concrete idea about how to go about achieving your fitness goals or workout goals or any goal in general. Before you start any program or any workout or fitness routine, you need to understand the why. Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to get better? I want to become a better surfer and I want to surf more advanced technical waves, which means bigger waves, which means more dangerous conditions. So you need to be prepared for those obstacles. My confidence derives from my training. The more trained I am, the more confident I become out there on the water or in any sport in general. So I'm basing it off my next contest, which is in about 11 days, which is when you're gonna see this vlog. So we need to figure out what our measurables are gonna be for this competition plan. The three elements that we are gonna be measuring in this particular program are water time, gym and exercise time, as well as stretching time. Water time is very simple. It's the amount of time you spend out in the ocean to get yourself into a rhythm with the waves, the tides, how you're feeling about yourself, your confidence levels. The second element is gym and exercise time, being able to work out consistently, build your fitness levels, improve your fitness levels, to be able to have a little bit more power in your paddle, to be able to stay out longer, and to be able to hold your breath longer, because that is an element that is very crucial in surfing, is to be able to hold your breath in more advanced technical surf. Stretching is a crucial, crucial element to my fitness plan overall for competitions, but also to my overall quality of life, which I will explain later in another vlog. Phase one of the Prone to Ride program is essentially just about establishing a baseline for you to be able to build off of. Before January 19th, I expect to have met these goals for myself. Seven to 10 hours of water time that roughly equates to about one hour every day in the water, which is simple, it's easy, it just requires a little bit of motivation and getting up early. In addition to water time hours, I also need to make sure that my wave count maintains a consistent level. So I'm not wasting time while I'm out in the water and being productive and I'm catching waves. So because I'm not in the greatest surfing shape right now, I've kept it a very low baseline where I'm catching three to four waves per hour, which averages about one wave every 15 to 20 minutes because I'm also taking into account being able to paddle back out into the outside and dealing with the white water and things like that. Once we progress, I will add more waves to catch per hour, which will increase my ability to work in the water and it'll create more of a good workout three to five hours of gym time, which means I'm exercising consistently throughout the week, and four to six hours of stretching. Now, it may seem unordinary to have more stretching time than gym and exercise time, but for an athlete with cerebral palsy, stretching is way more important to keeping your body loose, because if you lose the flexibility, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get it back, and with people who are struggling with physical disabilities, you need to maintain your flexibility range of motions that you already have. It's extremely essential. So that's why I put an extra emphasis on it for my training program. My progress so far for the week. Last night, I actually did a workout where I did 50 push-ups. I did two sets of 10 reps for shoulder press as well as single arm rows. Um, I was really focusing on my lats and on my chest and shoulders to try and get them ready for um, paddling power because there's going to be some heavy surf coming through. Today on January 8th, I actually surfed for about an hour and a quarter, hour and 15 minutes. I caught three waves, but unfortunately I didn't have the camera because the camera mount decided to snap off of my board. Here is my Excel sheet that I created for the program. I listed the weeks coming down and the days going to the right, so that way we'll be able to see what we're doing each day. Orange is for gym and exercise time, blue is for water time, green will be for rest and recovery and stretching. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below, make sure you hit the bell icon, and if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys want to provide some extra details or any suggestions as to what I should add in the workouts, please do so. We are just starting out. 
I welcome any and all feedback. Always, always, all waves. Hey, keep charging after your dreams and goals. I'm prone to ride. We out.